All right, so here it is. We finally finished it up. This is the design by Nico71's Lego Technic Creations. And this is a twin steer. I forget the full name of the truck, but uh, yeah, this is just, this is a monster. It's a pretty big <laughs> vehicle, but it was so much fun to build. Um, a lot of cool techniques were used. And, you know, I needed a lot of parts to get this built. And uh, so a while back I did a haul video where I purchased several LEGO RC sets, most of them used, just trying to find good deals and just stocking up on parts and motors and uh, Technic hubs and all that kind of stuff. And then in later haul videos I, I placed a few BrickLink orders to get the last remaining pieces I needed for this. Um, the white pieces, you can, I don't know how, how well you can tell, some of these don't match exactly. Um, the ones I bought online were all new, um, just to make sure they were going to match as well as possible. But even Lego themselves doesn't always match the colors perfectly. Uh, it is what it is. I don't know if that's something that's getting worse over time or if it's always kind of been that way. So first off, let's, let's just go ahead and uh, kick it on and I'll show you how it drives. Um, so we've got our Technic hub on the bottom here. And uh, there were two pins I didn't put in because I don't know how you'd be able to get them out. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to be using um, brick controller. Okay, so now we're connected and um, I've just got it set up for steering. And, uh, and you got throttle. So, of course, uh, with the Brick Controller app and using the FlySky controller, it's not going to allow me to use the buttons. Like, I'd love to be able to use this uh, for the winch. Uh, let's go look at that. So, if I go to Devices, I've named this one Twin Steer. Um, oh, Lord. I think it's uh, on B. Yeah. Yeah. So that controls the winch. Um, so it'd be nice to be able to control it from this, but um, this is just my preferred um, controller for RC vehicles. And this isn't, like I said, it's an absolute monster. So trying to turn around uh, may remind you of a scene from Austin Powers. I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a little long, but that's how the truck was, uh, you know, in the game in snow runner, which is where I know this truck from. It is a, a real truck. Uh, and I imagine it's quite a hassle to do a three point turn with that thing too. You might be up to like 50 points by the time you're done. <laughs> um, oh, I just noticed, <laughs> I was going to say the, um, the mirrors on the side here, which are not there. <laughs> fall off super easy uh the three length um you know tube that it used was just not quite enough and um you know i couldn't get it really right where it wouldn't and they, they just fall off so they're upstairs somewhere <laughs> um so i guess they, they won't be part of this I, you know that's something i could easily kind of modify and do something with and then under here um that's your hood and we've got a inline six uh, cylinder engine. Um, some pretty cool little details through here. This is actually pneumatic tubing that's wrapped around uh, these. Um, there's your grill. It looked pretty cool to put some lights and stuff in here. Um, the problem is, let me let me double check here. Yeah, you'll notice that the engine is not turning. I screwed up. Um, when I first built this, um, I didn't get this steering lined up correctly. Um, what you want to do is get your, your motor set to like a 90, you know, straight up and down. Um, and then set your gears in line with that as you go to make sure everything's lined up in here. Cause I, I don't know, I don't know what I did cause I, I knew to do that, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> um, so these were lined up with each other but they weren't centered with the motor. So whenever I would calibrate, it would calibrate off every time. So I had to kind of slowly, carefully take all this apart and rebuild it, which is an absolute pain. I should have just done it right from the beginning. But I think when I did that, um, 
there's a universal joint that goes to the engine and connects it to the motors for the rear tires. And um, I goofed it up, so now the the engine doesn't work. <laughs> um, so I guess I could rebuild it. I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do from here. Um, so it does use four motors. We've got a motor inside here. That is what controls your winch on the back. Uh, I've got a motor up here for steering, and it goes through universal joints uh, between here and here, so you can still have a, um, some suspension there. Um, I also goofed that up. One of these universal joints inside here broke, and I'm not sure if that was in the process of what I, when I was trying to rebuild it. I mean, it, it was during that, but I don't know what caused it to break. I just noticed, like, oh, that thing, like, you know, the middle piece just fell away and I could never find it. And then I've got the two other pieces. Um, oh, I did. Yeah, it's in my pocket. <laughs> um, so there's the one of the remnants of it and they just kind of pushed apart and fell off. You know, these I may have purchased them used on BrickLink, so it might have just been a weak universal joint. I'm not really sure. Uh, then you've got dual motors on the back here for your propulsion so that helps a good bit to give you a little bit more torque to, to double up on that um, and you've got your differentials here and then more kind of uh, I'm not sure the actual name of this style of suspension um, but you know there's, there's no springs or anything like that but it, it works pretty well to you know to drive over things like if I put my hand there you can see and then maybe there too so you know that's how the suspension works And I'll also point out that um, in the instructions, he had a, I think it was a, a mud pump or something um, that would fit right on the back here. And you could roll it up with your uh, winch and, and lock it in place. It was pretty, it was really cool. I wanted to build it, but I just, I wasn't going to go through that whole process again of trying to brick link parts to, to be able to build it. Um, maybe I'll do that later. I might keep this together. Just as a display piece, it looks amazing. Like it, it's just so detailed, and um, I really love the the look of it. And of course, you know, it, re it reminds me of Snowrunner, which is definitely a game I spent way too much time playing. So be sure to check out Nico 71s channel. Uh, show him some love. Leave some comments. Um, you can purchase these instructions. I think it was maybe about ten dollars ish, um, which is perfectly fair. I'm. I'm really happy that people put in the time to do that kind of thing. I'm not a digital builder at all. Uh, I probably never will be. So don't expect instructions from me, but there are certainly a lot of people out there that are providing instructions and that's super great. So let me know what you think of this thing. Um, this was a, a ton of fun. It was a really fun build and he just released another mock. I think it's a six by six truck and it has articulated, uh, steering so maybe i'll look at the instructions for that and see if i want to get it built so that's it for the day hope you guys enjoyed thank you for watching and remember to play well